All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and go over the starting point entries along with value box confirmations. Right, so let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and cover some sell examples. So let's go ahead. The best way I can help you guys, when I draw, you guys draw, right? Definitely watch these videos back. That way you guys can get some clarity. But as of right now, market is downtrending right we need to catch these waves to continue down right and how do we catch these waves we have to look for the starting points right so let's go ahead boom market is bearish right now it's doing what it's supposed to do and dropping now sooner or later market is going to have to pull back it doesn't always just drop in a straight line you know what I'm saying so sooner or later market will pull back and give you some type of structure oops and it'll give you some type of structure right so at the moment all we have right now is lower low and lower high right to continue trend to continue trend we need to break this low right so let's go ahead whether you guys like to put lines here that's totally up to you right for the visual so so you can know and understand for yourself on your markups guys you guys can have this and be like okay I know market need, is in a downtrending market I need a BOS right here to continue trend right you can put this right here need BOS to continue trend right so as market breaks through and does what it's supposed to do right let's go ahead boom markets dropping markets dropping awesome so we now just got a BOS to the downside right so we can go ahead and mark this up the way levels are going to do it for you. Man, this new levels update is honestly so fire. I I really like it. Um, let's go bottom. All right, cool. Line is going to be red. Right. And then levels is also going to help you out and tell you, yo, this right here is the BOS candle. This candle right here broke structure to the downside. This candle right here gave you the BOS that we are looking for. Does that make sense, guys? Give me a one if that makes sense. And give me a question mark if you're confused. Awesome. 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 Let's go ahead and get it. So at this point, all we have is lower low, lower high, lower low right we need to capitalize when the market comes back to pick up this order so we can go ahead and ride that wave right so how do we do that once we find our BOS and once levels helps us find that BOS we need to go ahead and find that breakout rally so when you see a nice breakout rally guys that's good indication so we can go ahead and follow that rally back up one two three boom this last buying candle right here guys is going to be our starting point Right, that last buying candle is what started that massive, massive bearish move. Does that make sense? Once this last candle bought up, boom, right away, boom, massive, massive drop. So this candle right here, guys, is going to be your starting point. This one right there. Right, so let's go ahead and box that up. Boom, this is our sell zone. Right, this starting point is our sell zone. So where's our stop loss? It'll always be the high point. Right, it'll always be the high. Let's go ahead and mark this up. Awesome, cool. So right now, guys, right now, this is the setup that I'm looking at right here. Right, that's the setup I'm looking at. But I need to find a TP point. Guys, who can help me find a TP point? Who can help me? Remember, when market wants to come back up and make that U-turn and pick you up, that's going to be our main TP. So as market drops, market wants to go ahead and come right back up for you. Now, it might take a day, might take a week, might take a, you know, a month, depending on your setup, guys. Right? It may take a minute. But when market drops and you see that massive, massive bearish move, and market starts to come back for you guys this right here is going to be our main swing TP does that make sense 
Give me a five if this makes sense, guys. TP on the lower uh, on the lower high. Uh, this would be the lower low. This would be the lower low. So notice how this is lower low, lower high, lower low. When market wants to come back and get you, this lower low is going to be our TP. Does that make sense, uh, Diego? Let me know, bro, because I don't continue to. All right, awesome, brother. Awesome. When, keep asking questions. If you're lost, even if it's just, oh, I need this as a confirmation. What would you say? Say it again. Go ahead and do that. I'm, I'm here to help and clarify. So when market makes that U-turn, hey, bro, we're supposed to go to the club, but you forgot me. I was in the restroom, bro, handling business. My stomach was upset. You know what I mean? I had to go to the restroom on the low low. I didn't want nobody to know, but you left your boy. Come pick me up. All right, bet. Bet, dog. I got you. Don't trip. Right? That's what that's that's what that is happening right here, guys. That's what's happening right here. As the market drops down and comes to pick us up, bro, you gotta come get me. Once we go, once you get me, dog, we're gonna hit the club. I promise you. Bet. You pick me up, we go into the club. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Guys, do you guys know why this is going to be my main swing TP? Does anybody want to take a guess? What's the black dotted area again? This black dotted area is going to be my starting point entry to sell off. Make sense, bro? Abraham, does that make sense? This 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 dotted line. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. So as market wants to go ahead and come back for us, that's awesome, right? It's doing what it's supposed to do. Now market's not always gonna come back in a straight line, right? Market's gonna mess with your emotions, right? Chill a little bit, and and, and just mess around because that's what the, that's what the market does. It makes you emotional. It wants you to sell, right? It wants you to sell early now we already have our sell zone we already have it so there's no reason to, to get in and you know early at all so let's just go ahead we'll delete this real quick delete this delete this we already know we want to enter here so i'm gonna go ahead and just put this to the, to the right right i want things clear right here for us i want things clear right here for us is that your tp because that's where the market last sold off before buying back up yeah Yes, pretty much, right? When market drops heavily, and we know that this area right here we're looking to sell off of, guys, when it starts to come back for you, when it starts to come back for you, we're looking to take this low out. Why? Why are we looking to take that low out, guys? Because we're trying to continue trend, right? We're trying to continue trend. Now, notice how we got lower low, lower high, lower low lower high lower low so picture this setup right here my next best sell area i'm trying to continue trend right so this is why when market wants to go ahead drop massively and make that u-turn right here to come back and get you we're trying to take that out and continue trend does that make sense guys I got two people. Can you repeat that? I got you. All right, so this this drawing right here on the left-hand side is going to be the same exact thing, right? We're trying to continue the bearish moves. Continue the bearish moves, right? We want to continue trend. If market's dropping, let's, let's ride those sell waves. You know what I'm saying? So notice how we get a massive drop. That's this right here, right? Market pulls up, massive drop. Market pulls up, massive drop. You guys with me so far? You guys with me? Give me a one if you guys are with me so far. 
bet. Awesome. So as market pulls up and drops, we're looking to capitalize in this area, right? Somewhere in this area to continue sales. So when market wants to go ahead and come back for us, we're looking to take this low out because we want to continue trend, right? TP hit, BOS, let's find the next sell. TP hit, let's find the next sell. And we continue the trend. Does that make sense? Abraham, does that make sense, bro? I, I know you had me repeat repeat that. Right, because notice how, I mean, this drawing is always going to look clean. Up, down, up, down. But what if I told you this is what really happens? I know I want to, I know I want to sell in this area. Come on, move with me. I know I want to sell in this area. Right, somewhere in here. Now, what if I told you this pullback right here looks like this. Right? Market's always not going to look this clean, guys. It's not always going to look that clean. So this whole thing right here is the pullback. Right? That's the pullback. So once you have that zone, guys, you must you got to wait. You got to wait. So once we have this, we have that lower low, that's our TP. Let market come to our zone and let smack TP. Right? Does that make sense? Give me a one if that makes sense. Give me a question mark if you're confused. I know I repeated myself like three or four times, but I just want you guys to understand. Awesome. Cool. Bet. We're good then. We're good. Let's go ahead and continue. We're looking for sales. Now, check me out. Market's going to go ahead and do its thing. Let's see. Let's make, let's make it not touch real quick. Let's use this. Actually, no, nah, that's fine. That's fine. Boom. Market just hit our sell entry. What do you guys think we're going to do here? We have to make a decision. We've been waiting on this sell zone for a week, maybe two weeks, maybe a month. Depending on the time frame. Yes, we're going to go ahead and test trade. Test trade and wait for our confirmation. Yes. If we're looking to sell and we've been waiting for some time at this area to take a sell, guys, once it's entered, calculate your risk and take a test trade. Okay? Now, look. Let's say. Actually, let's just pause right there. We know that this is our swing high. Right? Because this is the highest area in this it's in this area. It's the highest area literally in this area, right? So this right here is going to be the swing high. Now, my value box. My value box will be the, the candle directly to the left of the swing high. There should be no confusion on that, guys. Very simple. Levels will help you find your swing high. Just like this, it'll be an arrow. Boom swing high let me even i'll even swing high boom the value box the value box guys will be the candle directly to the left of the swing high regardless of the color it can be blue, red, purple, gray, doesn't matter the color. It will be the candle directly to the left. Swing high, swing high, candle directly to the left. Swing high, the candle directly to the left. Give me a five if that makes sense. 
I know I know I repeat myself like five times right there, but again, I need you guys to know this because we don't really go over a value box a lot, right? Awesome. So once we find our swing high, we need for this value box to get broken. Need it. We need it, right? So once we go ahead and actually break and close below that area, right? Let market do its thing. It's okay. What if it consolidates right here, Vinny? Hey, let it do its thing. Let the market do what it does. I, I can't help it if the market consolidates, right? I, I, I can't help it, but, but what if this happens? Boom. This whole area right here, guys, we test traded this whole area. Hey, we're in, we're in consolidation. It is what it is. We test traded it, you know what I'm saying? But now that we get this, guys, boom. That break is structured to the downside. Oh, man. It's game time, baby. It's game time. Uh, it's game time. So now once we break and close below, we can go ahead and box up that candle directly to the left. This, the value box. So once we get that breakout, we can go ahead, take a nice retest. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some of these candles, baby. And take the trade with confidence. Does that make sense, guys? Yes. Give me a one if that makes sense. Give me a question mark if you lost. You guys can unmute and tell me where I exactly lost you, right? But the, more or less, that makes sense, guys. Abraham, I know you're fairly new, bro, but does that make sense? Um, what? Um, how would you uh clone the uh that green bar to the other side? Um, you said clone the green bar like this one right here. Um. It's just um at the end right there where you were working when you uh when that red bar kind of went down and and you said you were like able to trade right there. Okay, so this is I may have skipped over. My bad. So notice how once market breaks and closes below this value box right here. Yeah. We're able to take a break and retest off that box, and we could sell it down. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, cool. Now, I know the, oh, the explanations, they could be a little fast. But when we go ahead and break down the charts, it's, you're going to see it a lot clearer. You're like, holy shit, that actually works. Right? But, again, I would watch these videos over. I do post them on YouTube. Sometimes a little late. You know, don't hate me. But I do post them on there. So, um, if you guys need some extra studying, they're going to be there for you guys, okay? What's your YouTube video? I mean, your YouTube channel? Uh, let me go ahead and just pull up the video real quick. Oops. Um, what does retesting mean? I I have a question for you, bro. How how long have you been in here? How long have you been in Powerhouse? I have a question. Juan, that's for you, bro. How long have you been in Powerhouse, Juan? Oh, all right. Bet. I was gonna say like, bro, I thought you'd been in for a minute. I ain't gonna lie. Um. All right, cool. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I was like, bro. You don't know what a break and retest. Um. But okay, cool. So a, what a break and a retest means is pretty much exactly how it sounds. You know what I'm saying? So once the market actually breaks and closes, we break and close below. We're gonna wait for that retest. We're, we're gonna wait for market to come up. Don't sell right here. Don't sell right here because, oh, oh snap, the market's selling. I need to sell right here. Don't do that, guys. Wait for the market to buy back up. 
that break, wait for the market to buy back up and to retest this area. Anywhere in this area is a good area to sell off. And then we're going to take the, the setup. Now, whoever asked that to Juan, I need you to type in right here to me. Does that make sense? Let me know. All right, bet. Bet, 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 bet. Do not be afraid to, to message me, guys. I would, I would much rather you uh, message me, to be honest. That way I, we can just work together one-on-one, -on -one, right? But, guys, does this make sense? I know people. some people are fairly new, right? But I try to break this down as simple as possible for you guys. I know it may seem very advanced right now, but again, I try to do my very, very best because once we get on the charts, it's gonna, it's gonna start to flow. That flow state's gonna start to come, right? Are you guys ready for live examples? Super new and it's making a lot of sense. Awesome. Hey, uh, where, what's up? Um, are value boxes the same for like buy scenarios too, or is this only for sales? No, 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 both ways, brother, both ways. Is it still to the left? Um, yeah, yeah, it'll always be the candle directly to the left. Okay. Yeah, so if it was like this, uh, oh, I, same thing. We're looking for buys. This is my swing low. This is the candle directly to the left. We get a rally breakout, I guess, you know, candle directly to the left. Rally breakout, retest. Take that setup and take the move. Make sense? Sure does. Thanks. Yes, sir. Awesome, guys. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's go ahead and find some setups. Let's do it. Let's do this. Um, let's go ahead and pull out the boxes. I want to go ahead and go over here though. Student section. This is the update, guys. Boom. Student section. That section's for you. That section is all for you. Now, I'm not sure why it's pulling up on the one minute, but just go up a time frame. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. Um, what pairs do you guys like me to look at tonight? What are you guys looking at? You guys looking at anything specific for this week? You guys can throw out a pair, and I can go ahead and mark it up for you guys. Uh, NZD, NZD what, my boy? Uh, make sure to ask all questions. No such thing as a dumb question. Vinny has all the answers, and he will find them for us. Exactly. I will do my absolute best to give you all the answers I got. All right, let's go ahead. NZD, USD, NZD, USD. GBP NZD sells. I'll look at that right after this one, bro. I got you. Remind me. Oh, man. All right. This is a perfect setup right here. This is a good example. This is a good example. Because look at the structure that we got. Now, it's it's a little funky. And that's what I mean, guys. Like, some of my, 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 my drawings that I do out for you with the lines and with the boxes, they're very, very clean. But a lot of the market structure isn't going to be as clean. So you must train your eyes, right? Notice how we get a high point here. Consolidation for a couple days. Back and forth movement. It's not going down and it's not going up. It's literally moving from left to right. Consolidation. Notice how we peak above. That This right here is our head. All this consolidation right here, guys, all of this is going to be my shoulder. Okay, does that make sense? All of this right here is going to be my shoulder. Why? Simple. Resistance. Support. Right? Shoulder. Head. Change of character. Does that make sense? 
right? Guys, don't be afraid to, to mark it up like this. You guys see me how I'm like this? Guys, I do this on my own charts. Why? Because I need to see the clarity in the chart, right? Don't be afraid to do this, right? Don't be like, yo, don't, don't, don't think someone's going to make fun of you or any type of thing. Don't worry about what other people think. What other people's uh, are, are th what other people are thinking of you, because the only thing that matters is what you see clearly in the chart, right? Notice how we break and close below, guys. This is a pretty clean setup right here. We break and close below. Now look, what do we got? Levels is helping us out. Levels is helping us out. We got a red arrow. So am I gonna press the blue box? Red box, baby. Red box. Boom. Levels is helping you find this, guys. You see red arrow, you press bet red box. You see red arrow, you press red box. And this is what's going to happen. Levels is going to help you find the area. Now, check me out. This is also a shoulder. Why are they overlapped, guys? Why, why are they overlapped? Do you guys think that happens by coincidence? I don't think so, right? I, I honestly do not think so. Now, if you wanna have a tight stop loss, you would use that area right here. If you want a looser stop loss, you would use this one right here based off of the head and shoulder. The head and shoulder setup, guys, your stop loss is always going to be the high, right? Guys, let's let's clean this up. Let's clean this up real quick. Awesome, we have the setup. Who wants to draw on my chart and show me where the market made that U-turn to come back for me? Can you guys see? where the market dropped massively and then made that U-turn. There we go, Juan. Yes, sir, baby boy. I love it. So notice how this right here is going to be my main swing TP. You can delete that, Juan. Thanks, brother. Right? Main swing TP. Now notice how we do have a pullback here, right? This is also a TP. Right, this is where we're trying to hold to. We want to hold to this point, but every time market hits a market structure in the, uh, every time market hits a specific point of market structure, you want to partial out money. Right, look at the pattern, guys. Shoulder, head. This is our neckline. Market can reject, and we can consolidate right here, mess around right once it hits this area i would love to partial out some money nice tp1 right nice partial zone and i would love to hold it here but look check me out let's go ahead and select choose your weapon value box boom levels is letting me know that this candle right here is my swing high which means all I'm waiting for is this four hour candle to close below. Now it looks like it's about to close, which is solid, right? But we have an hour and 25 minutes until this candle closes. So yeah, it's way down here right now, right? But what about in an hour? What if it's back up here? That's not a break and close below. I want this break and close below to look exactly like this. I want it to look exactly like this. So if there's a candle, if this candle ends up closing like this, guys, with the long ass wick, that is not a break and close below. How do you use that time, uh, the time that way? Um, how do you use the time that way? So that's the confirmation that we need, Abraham. Um, whatever time frame your analysis is on, you must wait for that time frame candle to close for confirmation. 
right? So notice how this giant setup is um, the four hour time frame. So I'm looking for this four hour candle to close below. Does that make sense? Now I still have an hour 25 until this candle closes. So right now it's looking very, very good and it's enticing, it's enticing sellers. How long does it take for the four hours to, to change? Every four hours, bro. Right, so every every time frame when it's a four hour, every candle is four hours. <clears throat> when it's a one hour, every candle is going to be one hour. When it's a 15 minute, every candle is going to be 15 minutes. Does that make sense? I could see you too. You could put a thumb up if, if you, uh, all right, yeah, yeah, awesome, brother, awesome. So right now, this is enticing sellers, right? So if the, if in the next hour, this candle wants to pull back up and look like this, that's that's not a good confirmation for us. Okay, we want the candle to look exactly like this, right? So once this thing actually breaks and closes below, we have a brand new setup. Now, guys, what does this setup look like exactly? We literally have, oops, it's actually this one. We literally have three setups in one if we can get this going, right? Can you guys see them? You guys want to unmute or type in the chats what setups you guys see in here. If you're new, don't. It's okay. If you can see one, type it in. If you can see two, type it in. If you if you don't see any, that's okay. That's why we're here to help. Head and shoulders. Yes, that is one. This is the shoulder. This is the head. My change of character. Starting point. Yes, that's two. Notice how we have break of structure no the break of structure to the downside would be more of a confirmation so it's not really a setup right but notice how if this candle does close and break and close below this last buying candle is going to be a starting point order block starting point supply and demand same thing juan make sense bro all the same this right here that is not a starting point. Why is that not a starting point? Because notice how we don't break above until right here. So this is my starting point. Notice how we do get respect right here. It just didn't hold. But market did bounce. Someone did buy and they did get some type of profit. Does that make sense, X? I know you're seeing this because this is what starts momentum, right? It started the momentum. Let's clean up. Let's clean up real quick. It started momentum, but anytime the market jumps up, right? It starts momentum, starts. We're thinking this is the break and close. This is our breakout rally. We need market to break above this. So when market hits this and then pulls back again, X, when it pulls back again, it's a restart. Does that make sense, bro? When market hits this zone and pulls back, it's a restart. You know what I'm saying? It's like getting in a fight, uh, 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 getting squabbled up. And you're like, you know what, bro? All right, bet. I'm going to go call the homeboys. You know what I mean? Uh, 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 we restarting, boy. Let's get them up. Uh, 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 uh. We getting active. We getting after it. You know what I'm saying? So when market pulls back, we're calling the homeboys. Boom. We finally get that breakout. This right here was your starting point. It did get some respect. Hey, bro, we from the hood, bro. That's how, you know what I'm saying? It, you can't take the hood out the homie. Right? It did get respect, but it didn't hold. So now we finally get this change of character, which gives us a head and shoulder violate, or a head and shoulder. We get this head and shoulder. Right? We need a shoulder to come back here sell it off so not only do we have a starting point we have a value box and we have a shoulder right here this setup right here is a solid confirmation to go ahead find your re-entry find your re-entry whether it's starting point value box or shoulder and sell it down continue the sales does that make sense give me a five if that makes sense guys because there's opportunity all inside here. Value box. Sh uh, starting point. Shoulder. 
there's opportunity all inside here right i'm not saying what guys the thing is too when when i show you guys these types of setups you don't have to be like oh shit he showed me three i gotta take all three i want you to see confirmations whichever setup you like the the most just stick to it if you like the shoulders stick to the shoulders if you like the um the starting points stick to the starting points if you like the value box stick to the value box but it's very important that you can see all three for confirmation for the value box trade would the stop loss go on the top of the swing high yes correct it would go on the top of the swing high so let's go ahead and delete this actually let's pull that back and i'll just move it so boom this would be it right here yes sir now obviously again some people like to put their stop loss above the starting point right that's completely up to you tight stop loss above the starting point loose stop loss above the high does that make sense ozzy because i know like miguel that boy's putting his thing tight tight in them uh he he puts his thing tight and then me i'm like eh, i'll give it a little bit of room to play you know I'll, i'm cool let it play all right, guys. Awesome. 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 Let me see the chats real quick. Let me see the chats real quick. Oh, yeah, we good. Uh, I, I'm telling you, bro, you know how you is. Uh, Same GB, play. What's up? Que paso, mijo? I have, like, the same play. Also, check USD Cat, bro. It has some right. I sell, too. USD Cat. Oh, let's save this. Hold up. Let's save this. Save notes. Save successfully. Awesome. Big bet. Drop some seven sevens for my boy, Vinny. Come on, <laughs> show you. some love for my boy. Thank wow, you. Vinny. Wow. wow. <laughs> Guys, everybody um you and give me a wow for my boy, Miguel. Let's go. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. You, you guys want food? I got you. <laughs> Pila. All right. I believe I believe Miguel is looking at, at this cell right here. He's seeing he's seeing this break and close below. Nice rally, right? That's that's pretty nice. Pretty nice rally. Now look at the structure. Consolidation. Market buys up, aggressively sells off. So what is Miguel looking at? I'm assuming he's looking at the starting point because he likes starting points. Right? I'm pretty sure his stop loss is like super, super tight, like in the middle. I'm just kidding. His stop loss is up the top. Most likely entering out of 50. And he's looking to take these lows. And that's already a 1 to 4.5. Depending on where you enter inside of here. Is that the setup you're looking at? Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, no, no, like I'm, a, I'm about to grab. I'm a, it's literally the same thing. I just sent it. Let's take a look. Textbook, baby. Oh, he's looking for a TP10. Come on, stop it. playing, bro. Stop playing with me. No, so yeah, nice. when you go to the four hour, uh, uh there's a, on a starting point in the four hour, more to the left. Yeah, you oh, see right that? here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, cool. So look at the, oh, even this structure looks pretty good, even on the four hour. Mm -hmm. Look, he's trying to sell it. He's looking to sell it down here, and it makes sense, right? Miguelito, yes, sir. Makes sense. Why? Wow, Miguel. Wow. <laughs> Notice how we do break above. Now, it's a very, very slight break above here, but we also get that break above and continuation rallying up, right? So we get that BOS. We get that rally of candles. And Levels is also going to let you know. Blue box. You see a blue arrow, guys? The thing about Levels is if you see a blue arrow... All you got to do is go back to kindergarten and match your color, bro. Red, red arrow, 
red box. Blue arrow, blue box. Right? So he's definitely looking to take it down here. Which, I mean, doesn't look too bad. Does not look too bad. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't even mind market coming down here for some solid buys. I'm looking at buys down here. See if we can continue up. Now, obviously, I would, you know, the dollar would have to do us a solid. But I'm liking it. Let's go, let's go up to the daily real quick just to show you guys why I'm looking at that area. Let's turn these off real quick. Note it, look at the structure real quick, guys. Let me zoom out and just look at this structure. Now, I know what's going to be effing ugly, right? But let me just give you a couple seconds to look at this real quick. Do you guys see anything specific in here? Now, if you don't, that's okay. Uh, it's totally understandable, right? And I'm going to help you see it. But for the for the vets in here, what can you guys see? Inverted. Love it. That's the main. When I seen this, I was like, oh, snap. That's a big-ass inverted. Now, it's not the prettiest, right? Consolidation like a mug. Consolidation. This is the daily, so you know this had to be a couple months. 216 days, bro. That's half a year, almost over half a year, right? So this was a long time building up, my boy, right? Long time building up. So we got consolidation. All this right here, guys, is the shoulder. All of it. This bottom piece is the head. Now notice how we break above. We break above this area right here. Let me just zoom in so I can show y'all. We break them and close above, right? So when you're seeing that, you're automatically thinking inverted. So where's my inverted shoulder going to be looking at this big setup, guys? Does anybody want to just throw out and mark up the chart and, and, and take a guess with me? Where am I, Where's my shoulder going to be with this giant setup right here? And it's okay if you're wrong. That's why we're here to help. Yes. Let's go, Zach. I love it, bro. I'm going to go ahead and find the lowest wick. Now, it's right here. This is the lowest, lowest wick, right? To my closest body. Now, my closest body is also right here. Let me zoom in. My lowest wick to my closest body. And that's going to be my buy zone for the shoulder. Right, that's going to be my buy zone for the shoulder. My, my stop loss, when it comes to the head and shoulder, will always be low. With that lower zone being inverted as well, this one right here, um, yeah, but it's a little funky. It is, but it's a little funky. Right, So you can go ahead and, and, and look at it like that because there's also a starting point in here, I believe. Let's see, does this break the high? Nope, that's the starting point in this area. Let me see if I go to the lower time frame. There should be a starting point in here. Uh, I don't think that's the... Oh, it's glitching. It's glitching. All right, yeah. So I can already see blue arrows, right? Boom, boom, boom. All right, so now that I'm looking at this at the four hour time frame, I'm seeing things that are that are clear here. I'm seeing this as a nice inverted. Now, when we come back and, and take this buy, we obviously hit stop loss, right? We obviously um, hit stop loss, but notice how we start trickling back up and we actually get that momentum we're looking at. Even though we do hit stop, we do actually end up going our it, it goes our way right now let's look at the the market structure on the way up and balance is failed uh there should be a starting point in here on the one hour time frame because we do break above so this starting point's been filled um starting points been filled starting points been filled right let me just mark it up bos Starting point. 
uh, BOS starting point right so where's the next one BOS starting point boom not only that guys not only that look at look at how clean this structure looks in my opinion like yes let's just let's just look at this real quick guys look at how ugly this structure is right here look at how ugly this structure is right but right before it takes off look at how clean it gets look at how clean it gets right before it takes off do you guys see that ugly structure ugly structure ugly structure right here now we finally get some clean structure now you're looking at this and be like well what if i end up missing it what if i'm late well most of the time when you're a beginner you're not going to be able to see a lot of the zones in here because it could be ugly right but when you see something like this guys and you see something that's clean and you're looking at this you're like oh snap that actually looks pretty good i, I can actually see it right all it is now guys is a waiting game all you're doing is waiting for market to come back all you're doing is waiting for the market to come back because it will eventually might take a month might take a week might take 260 days right set your alert but now we have a nice inverted head and shoulder with oh my god my computer is tweaking with a, a starting point right here and an inverted head and shoulder right before this massive takeoff right so let's go back this way oh snap market already hit that zone what you know boom we're taking off market took off we hit that zone market took off right so now where is the next best buy if this was the next best buy here based off the inverted head and shoulder right we have to find the next best buy in this section now so we can go ahead and continue with uh the trend continue with the trend right hopefully we take it to one of these zones up here does that make sense guys are you following me a little bit i know once i start seeing things i start you know going in a little bit awesome so let's go ahead and clean up we already seen these zones these zones have already been used and we got nice reactions off those and that's clean but let's look at structure now let's follow structure always guys always lower low lower high right lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low okay so now that we've found our structure, we need for market to break and close above. Boom. Guys, is that a blue arrow? Blue arrow, blue box. Notice how we have a breakout rally. Everything is looking pretty, pretty good right here. Right? So this area right here is going to be my next buy zone next buy zone for my starting point now this area right here this is going to be my my shoulder my lowest wick notice how this long ass wick i have to use it this is my shoulder now where's my closest body i'm gonna pull it up pull it up pull it up pull it up and it's gonna be right here guys boom that's my closest body right so this is this this is the setup i'm looking at this is the setup I'm looking at, guys. And it's just a waiting game. Again, this might take, I mean, how long has it been? I mean, I've been waiting for a minute since the breakout. I've been waiting 41 days. I, Abraham, I know, bro. I see your, your facial expression. You're like, God damn, this mug. He's waiting 20, 41 days? I'm waiting, bro. I'm waiting. There's nothing I can do. When the market comes back, that's when I have to react. So at this point, once you see a setup, guys, this is what you do. 
This is what you're going to do. Hey, hey, Vinny, I have a question about that setup. What's up? So, because you, you're saying that the market has to break above that black line that you drew? Yes. Right? What, wouldn't it have to break above the starting point? The, the one that broke below that way? Uh, like, soon right wouldn't here. it still be valid? Yeah. Wouldn't it still be valid if it just broke above that? Yeah. And then you could write it. Yeah. That's what a coach is teaching. But for me, I still like structure. I still oh, like okay. structure based. And that, that's for me. Now, a lot of the pairs that you trade, they might be, they might treat it a little different. Right. But for, for the indices and for gold, they're toxic. So I got to be as cautious as possible. <laughs> You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I'm not going to be too aggressive. So notice how market gives me a low, and the market buys right back up and gives me a high. And then everything inside of that is just internal market structure. Does okay. that make sense? All right, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I just wanted now, to make sure that's you, you can definitely use this because that's what Oren is teaching. And no matter what, you have to stay consistent and disciplined to the strategy. Now, for me, I've always just been consistent with actual higher highs and the higher lows being broken it just gives me more confidence right and then now once you get that breakout rally you're just like oh man game over we broke that we broke the actual lower high and with the breakout rally but let's run it let's run it does that make sense yeah that makes sense all right man so yeah i'm looking at some um buy opportunities here now again may take a minute May take a minute. And I kind of like this, the way it's looking. Just because of this right here. Some some liquidity right here. I wouldn't mind this being taken out. Um, I really wouldn't. I really would not. But again, yeah, this is something that I'm looking at. We can go ahead and delete this. Stay fresh. Let's go ahead and add a shoulder here. Boom. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Save to notes. Excuse me. If it's not too late, can you take a quick look at silver? Yeah, I got you. Um, what what pair is this, bro? I like the structure though. It's looking very clean. That's looking very clean, Edsel. This is good And I see you 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 like the swing high, low support and resistance. AUD JPY. Does the swing high low indicator help you, bro? Yeah, bro, big time. The game changer. Yeah, I like that uh indicator too. I wish level still had it. But yeah, I like this setup hundred percent. I mean the structure looks very, very clean. Structure looks super clean. We get the consolidation build up. We get this low, we come right back up very, very aggressively with a breakout rally, leading back a nice starting point and a nice shoulder. Guys, notice how th this indicator, guys, it's saying this is your low right here, right? Look at this previous low right here, guys. Doesn't it already look like it's helping you find the head and shoulder? It's literally helping you. The swing high, low support and resistance indicator, game changer. If you know, you know. I have uh, videos on that on YouTube, so go check those out. Is the starting point of value box the same? No, but it can be. No, but it can be. It's not the same thing, right? But if the value box happens to be a starting point, double confirmation. Does that make sense? So when, if you're looking at the value value box, bro, stick to your notes. Stick to your notes. We've been going over the value box for the past week or two. And your value box will always be the candle directly to the left. Right? So notice how, again, these dots are going to help you find your low. It's this one right here. So this big-ass purple one, that's your value box. And notice how your starting point is right in between. Now, that's just with this setup specifically. Uh, let's go to silver. 
But I like this setup, Edsel. Looking very, very clean, bro. Um, let's go to silver. Let's actually go on trading view because I don't like the way it looks on levels. I can't believe I missed this, bro. Honestly, I'm all butthurt still. All right, so I'm looking for buys down here, right? Because we do break and close above. Nice rally breakout. Nice rally breakout. And this last selling candle is going to be my starting point, right? All of this to the left, all of this consolidation is going to be my shoulder. Head, change of character. We're just waiting now. I have an alert set. We're waiting. Now, I took an opportunity here this morning, caught a couple pips, noticed the setup again. Lower low, lower high, lower low, change of character, comes right back to the shoulder, and we take off. Right? Let's take a look. This right here. This right here is actually your swing low. Right? Swing low. This big old black candle. Right? That's going to be your value box. Smacking. Double smack. If you guys want um, the... Uh, it's, it's just the fractals. The fractals are going to help you find your swing points. Right? The only thing is it's not going to box up your value box. Um... But yeah, as of right now, bro, I'm looking to continue buys. I'm, I'm just looking to continue buys right now. All right, that's it. That's it. I would really like this buy down here. But if not, I'm already in at this point. Um, I'm already at break even. So if I get hit break even for this buy, I'm, I'm definitely okay with that. But as of right now, I would love to continue um, buys with, with silver, to be honest. Because well, this has some solid swing potential. <clears throat> very solid swing potential especially if we can get anywhere down in, in this range anywhere down in this range guys would be very very solid anywhere down this would be our stop loss and if we can go ahead and, and potentially take this back up that's already a 1 to 7.7 7, right and if we're at the shoulder that's already a 1 to 8 or 1 to a, one to 11.5 so this has Honestly, nice swing potential, in my opinion. Um, everything's just looking good, right? Everything's looking good, even for this. I know you guys can see this. Let me go up a time frame. Guys, what is this right here? This is also inverted, right? Notice how we get a low, lower high. We come back up. Yes, we get some drawdown in this area. But that's only because it was coming for this lower area. But we still never hit stop loss. Right? So if you were looking at that, that's fine. I totally understand what you're looking at. Right? We get a little bit of drawdown, but now you're in profit. So I'm I think this has very good swing potential. I'm liking this a lot, actually. So whenever that time comes, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Let's see, Kyle. A-U-D-N-Z-D. Um, yeah, that's very, very clean. What is this, the daily? Okay, cool. This is clean, bro. I see what you're talking about. Notice how even this right here, that's pretty crooked. But you know that's resistance, resistance, resistance. Breakout, we just changed character, right? So this is an also this is also another example of not looking very clean but you must train your eyes to see this now in due time you guys are gonna definitely start seeing the harder looking ones but I do like this now notice how we do have a breakout rally right here Kyle so this last buying candle is going to be the starting point to this change of character so notice how um, it's in that area right now so don't be surprised if market get, gets in that area and continues to drop, and they might just save this shoulder zone for later. 
Does that make sense, bro? Now, once we go ahead and break and close above that starting point, we can now look for another rally breakout to the upside that can help us with that continuation. Or you can take it as an inverted, right? Or you can take it as an inverted, however you like to see it. Right? But I like this. I, I do like that. That's very, very clean. Just don't miss this starting point right here because this is the daily, remember. So um, a lot of the one hour action, you're not going to see in this daily candle. So in the morning, if you see something that looks like a head and shoulder, go ahead and smack that. Go ahead and smack that. Why? Because it's in a cell area. So if we go ahead and get that head and shoulder action, boom, shoulder, head, change of character, right shoulder. Let's go ahead and sell it right there. Boom. Or, or you find your brand new breakout rally and you find your starting point. Whatever you like to use, guys, look for it and take advantage of that opportunity. Does that make sense? Give me a five if that makes sense. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right, guys. I'm late for a, a leadership call. But, and, and that is it for me. And I hope you guys liked the call. I thought it was pretty cool. We definitely took some time to break the charts down for newer individuals, which um, was very, very cool. I like breaking things down, right? As long as you guys take notes, right? I, I would love, uh, of course, man. Appreciate you guys for hopping on. Um, I love when the newer individuals take notes, man. I love it because trading is an open book test. It honestly is, right? So anybody who, who's says different that i mean come on bro let's let's be real educators are, are giving you solid examples solid clicking moments you guys can be taking down tips and tricks from for from literally anybody to help you guys right your notes guys are going to be the answers to the test right they're going to be the answers to the test so make sure when you have that open book test you have the most detailed notes possible. I can't even stress that enough. Make sure you guys have the most detailed notes possible because I promise you, it's going to help you. Um, but yeah, man, you guys are very, very welcome. Uh, thank you, bro, for the for, uh, thank you, bro, for all the time. I appreciate it, and the mountain was fun. Hey, man, for sure. I appreciate you, uh, appreciate you guys for hopping on. I appreciate it for real. Um, that is it for me, guys. I will see you guys. On Friday, you guys trade responsible this week. Let's run it up, and I'll see you guys on Friday, man. Peace out.